and my name is Placent Moon and welcome back to Hemicraft Season 10, Episode 27. You'll find that this episode begins in the basement of Impulse's brand new grass greenhouse in the shopping district that's right next to my own. Underneath is created a fun new minigame which I have played once previously on stream and I am back again in video form to give it a proper playtest after it's all been done. However, I do have to briefly mention that I did have some issues with the uh, video freezing a bit and my audio as well so things might sound different here and there and you might notice a couple of frames freeze every now and again but it's not too bad bad but just know it is part of the video it's not you well pearl thanks for stopping by i think i've got this game ready to be playable but i want to test it to make sure i've uh -huh. been messing with the volumes of some of the sounds and stuff and i'm not sure if i got it right oh. so i'm gonna let you be the judge <laughs> it's okay my ears are ready let's play it i want to do it okay, okay. Good. You i got like it, it. <laughs> I've, I've added a few things that Ooh. should help explain how the game's played. And if anything doesn't make sense, let me know because I might need to make some changes. So you are my official first play test. Impulse, what does instructions mean? <laughs> what does that mean? We can't read. This, I, 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 exactly, exactly. I am doing a favor for everybody right here because I know the hermits do not like to read long-winded oh. books with instructions. All you need to do is press the button and listen. You did an audio? You're a smarty pants. Uh -huh. All right, I want to hear uh -huh. this. Welcome to Go Touch Grass. The goal of this game is to fish short grass items off the wall of honey using a fishing rod that will be dispensed when the game begins. If you can gather 14 or more pieces of grass before the music ends, you will win a prize. Once the game ends, deposit any items collected from the wall and the used fishing rod into the chest to the right of the start button. This game is free to play, so feel free to press the start button once you're ready. Good luck. Nice. Hey. hey. I did have to turn Save up the volume. You the I had to turn up the volume. It was a little quiet on zero. Okay, so the yeah. volume might be a little low. Okay, note. I'm I taking notes. So. I'm taking notes. Uh -huh. I might crank that up a little bit. All right, thank you. What did I turn it up? That means to? everything's probably gonna be a little low. Okay. Okay, right. we'll see. All right. Well, uh, I know I know how to play. I technically already played this before, so we're gonna go again. Mm-hmm. Let's mm -hmm. do it. I'm ready. Let's go. I can't wait to get that music again. There's your fishing rod. Ooh. Hey, there is my Look grass. how much is coming out now. Oh, did you just get two I got a twofer. No way. <laughs> wow. Look at never me. Never seen that. I've been practicing in my mind. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're crushing it. Woo. You're absolutely crushing it. Give me that grass. I love this. Touching grass. Right. I need to. <laughs> I'm at seven, mate. I'm at my all time high school. Oh, oh, I missed that. You're halfway there. You're halfway there. Halfway there. 14 is the number. Okay, has anyone won yet? That is the question. Oh, well, just me. Just, <laughs> just I've you? I've a lot of practice. Okay. Yeah. I'm at nine. Bum, 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 okay. bum. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da. Oh, that's going to be close. You got oh, the cactus. I, got cactus. I, knew I knew it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what if I got the grass, though? So I can bet your expectations. Uh -huh. da, uh -huh. da, da. This one. I'm going to get it. Music volume. Yeah. Time, 11. Okay. Come on. Okay. Come Ooh. on. This might be a photo finish. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, uh -oh. give me that. No! Uh -oh. No! I need one more. No! Oh. No! No! No, this one. Oh. No! Oh, oh no. No, no, no. Oh. Give me one more. Wait, one more. One more. One more. Oh. Ah. oh, you better get it. Okay. You better get it. Don't miss it. Yeah! You did it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh my God. It was gosh. a photo finish. <laughs> Literally a photo finish. Well done, Dude. Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> last test, last test. Uh -huh. We got a little bit of reading to do, but a it's pretty bit short. Of so reading. Okay, hold yeah. on. Insert <laughs> you got it. all items. I'm just kidding. Collected the universe. Personal items. All right. What if uh, I put a personal item in here? What happens? It's gone. It's, it's gone. Destroyed. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay. I am not. I am not playing games Ooh. here. <laughs> you got to read, or else. You're going to pay the price. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all I can imagine is you just making that noise into the microphone. You have successfully touched grass today. Well done. And for your prize, please accept this coupon for a buy one, get one free stack of grass blocks up inside the greenhouse store above. And thank you for playing Go Touch Grass. Nice, well done. Dude. Well done. Did yeah. <laughs> I'm making that noise. You're right. You're right. 
this is what went through my head. I was like, I want a little noise that acts like it's calculating, you know? Uh -huh. And I'm like, I could go search for some royalty free that... noise that might be. Nah, I'm just gonna Very make cool it coins. in the microphone. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's uh, funny that way, right? I expect that uh, was unexpected. That's a lot of that's a lot of grass you got there, sir. It is, it is. That's because you know I gotta sell this stuff upstairs. Well, yeah, but actually, I think it might be <laughs> useful. Um, I want to talk to you about something. You want to follow me upstairs? Yes. I think there might be something we could work on together. Of course, Ooh. it's nighttime. Look at of this. Of course, place, it's though. nighttime. So pretty. I have a bed. Hold on. Um, you, you see, we've got these nice, cool buildings next to each other. We do. They are brother and sister, I like to call them. Uh-huh. Uh, so, whether it. you like it or not, you're now my sister. Um, <laughs> hey, careful <laughs> about what you say there, and Paul's the fans will take that. <laughs> oh, that's true, that's true. I, 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 pretending. And <laughs> we've got, <laughs> we've got this division between our builds that I... I, I don't like. It is kind I'm of honest. awkward, I, honestly. Yeah, it's it's too separating here. People yeah. can't go from yours to mine. You know, what mm -hmm. if they want grass and flowers? It's not easy to traverse mm -hmm. this. Kind of have to go around. So uh, I was thinking maybe we do a little bit of terraforming to connect mm -hmm. us up a little bit better. Ooh, you know being terraforming. Be I that? love doing that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm up for that. You do? Uh -huh. Okay, good, because I'm terrible at it. So I, I was hoping if, if we could just like spend a little bit of time I have some grass. I have some some uh, Ooh, dirt. Okay. I think if we fill this in properly, uh, it will look much better. All and right. Then, and make some paths and stuff. You, you mind? I'm up for that. Yeah, sure. Are we doing it right now? Sweet. Yeah, if you got time, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. And here we see two hermits get into terraforming, yappering away and forgetting what on earth they were intending to do. A path was intended to be made in this clip, but alas, they forgot. Ah, oh, well, anyway, here's where they got to. This poor little puppy is just here. This must have been part of the... What was it called? Permit, permit challenges? Master? Yeah, permit master thing. Yeah. Free permits. I we missed can name out it. on that. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, I want... Um, um, I want wind charges. Yes. You want wind charges? I, I want vault keys. Uh-huh. Ooh, uh, that's a good one, too. There we go. All right. Well, these are, these are ours now. Yep. They, we have them. They're ours. <laughs> Taking them home. You're going to leave them. You're going to leave blank <laughs> permits laying around. That's like leaving a blank checkbook that know, laying around right? that's already got signed checks in it. You know, you can't do that. But look what we did. Isn't this looking so much yeah. nicer now? That flows so We're much connected. better. I feel bad. We took out a couple trees, um, couple. but we still have some like paths and stuff to figure out. And maybe we'll we'll add them back in. But uh -huh. at least now we can we can go in between our shops. No problem. Nothing's in the way. Exactly. And we've got a bit of a change of elevation here too, so it wasn't just like flat. Because your eyes, just, yeah. it gets it's it's a little boring if it's just a flat space. So now we have a bit more leeway to add some like little landscaping decorations. I yeah. think would be really yeah. cool here. Yeah, we can massage just a little bit more, but for now, this is this is fine. It solves the problem. There is one other problem I noticed as I was building up this. I was making trips back and forth to my base because I wasn't prepared as usual. Yeah, and I know the, the portal, the portal's actually kind of far to the shopping district. So you got a point. I was wondering if maybe, yeah, I was wondering if maybe we could get like a, a shopping district east. I think we're facing east uh, mm -hmm. over here, like a portal that goes directly at least closer to our amazing shops now. True, there's and a few more being made. Well, we did just clear a space. Yeah. What are you thinking right here? I mean, that would be that would be nice, unless wait, wait. that's gonna be problematic with mail system stuff or something. Yeah, Um. we're at 62, uh -oh. we need to be at 75. Wait, how high is 75? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Oh no. Oh. That's gonna be oh. awkward, a portal oh. just to spend oh. it up in the air. Oh, is this taller than my no. building? It's here. Uh, that's not going to work. Shoot. Where's the closest mailbox anyway? Uh, so there's actually one in Zuma's little trophy building right there. Oh, no. That's right. That's literally right it there. Will okay, we're going to have portal. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is putting them inside of a building that's already got some, some tallness to it. But that'd be kind of weird, that's wouldn't it? That's kind of awkward. Yeah. I don't really have space. Okay. Well, I mean, there is extra levels in mine, but I think that's kind of awkward for them to come through and be in a building already. <laughs> We both we got up here at the same time. time. <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> All this terraforming has gotten us famished. <laughs> it's not oh, like I I know. Yeah, 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 trying to solve this portal problem. But I think you're right. We're just so close to Azuma's there that unless we either create some height or some uh, horizontal distance, 
So like out here on the water, is this dock temporary or what is this? This was from like permit challenges a little while ago. I was actually wanting to keep this uh, with my shop and just change it into something just that looks oh. a bit nicer. So keep a bit of the history. I was just thinking, yeah, I was just thinking about, this kind of reminds me of a place that I like to vacation in San Diego where they have like a pier San that goes Diego. out on the water. Dude, we're about to yeah, go to San, San Diego. Is that, is it just in your brain? Like, is, is San Diego like, yeah, yeah I'm ready to go, mate, I've got ideas. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Because literally like every summer, pretty much uh, for the past 10 years, I have made my way out to San Diego and stayed uh -huh. in a beach house that's like right by this really cool pier that goes out into the ocean. Oh. And on the end of the pier is like this building and you can go there and get like like fish and, and it's a restaurant and stuff. Yeah. It's really cool. And what if we made a little building at the end of this that and would work. put the portal in that? It would feel much more I player scale. Some pictures. Well, we're, we're going yeah. there in a month. Why don't we just take the pictures ourselves? Oh, like, you go right? here? let's get some real life yes! references. That would be so exciting. Oh, we should do that. I love that. Yes, let's go. We'll go IRL. We'll take, uh -huh. we'll, we'll, we'll experience it. IRL, take some pictures yep. for reference. And then we can come back and like build something similar. That'd oh, that be would really be so cool. cool. I love that so much. All right, we'll do well, that. That's, so that's, that's what we're doing. We come yeah, back to it in done. a month. I know it's a while. But we will come back to it, yeah. and I think it's going to come out really, really cool. I think that's the plan. Not too long after we had that clip with Impulse, Cub wanted me to go and chat to him at the end of the labyrinth. Something to also note here is that I actually have done the labyrinth four times now and managed a 34-minute run. If you're interested in seeing that run, it is up on the second channel, Plus and Moo, which I will link down below, and it is a full uncut run. So enjoy. Anywho, let's go say hi to Cub. Hello, Pearl. <laughs> How's it going, Welcome. Cub? Thank you. It's going well. I recognize this well. place four times over. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. The ending of the labyrinth and called you here, Pearl, because you did it. I you did, did it. it. I, I did it. Congrats. I, I won it. <laughs> you won it the fastest time uh, by, by a lot, too. By a lot. Well, the... You had a blazing fast time. I'm actually quite proud of it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> 3404, are you kidding me? That's yeah, insane! I got that one today! I was just like, I'm just gonna try again, try and maximize things a little bit, and that's that's where I'm leaving it. I'm happy. <laughs> that is a great time, Pearl. And for that, you get a pretty great Ooh. prize. Take a look. Take a look. Oh my gosh! A fancy got the labyrinth lab core. Oh, it's special. It says labyrinth core on it. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, okay. Well, look at all the honeycomb blocks. Oh my word. So now I can make my own parkour. Is this what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's to remind you of your time in the labyrinth with all the honey blocks and the deep slate oh. and stuff. So, oh, that's, yeah. that's wonderful. I love it. No, it genuinely, Cub, <laughs> it was absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for this. Honestly, I don't actually need a core. So seeing as there's only um <clears throat> one other person here, I'm probably going to make him do something for it. But oh, okay. Okay. regardless... Yeah. Thank you so much, Cub. You did a fantastic job with the labyrinth. It was challenging, but not pain, like excruciatingly painful challenging. Like it was good. It was good. So I appreciate it. I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, thanks for playing and uh, congrats again, bro. Congrats of course. Again. Thank you, Cub. Now, when you think about it, this is really kind of like the first time that I've actually earned a core myself in a way. The mace that I have right now was made with a core that Tango gave me and I never actually got one from loot from the trial chambers. And now I finally have a core that I actually did work for and I don't really want it. Scar apparently spent like five or something hours during his birthday, during a live stream, doing that labyrinth and completing it. And I would feel awfully terrible if I just went ahead, strolled in and took it when he wanted it so badly. Seeing as I already have a mace, we're gonna have to think of something fun for Scar to do and then we'll just give it to him. I could just give this to Scar right now but I think we can just have like a little bit of fun out of it. Nothing painful, nothing too long, just something short and sweet and then we'll give it to him afterwards. But I'm gonna have to think what on earth that might be so if you guys have any ideas for something that Scar could do just for a little bit of fun let me know down in the comments below because I'm gonna have to rack my brain on that one. However we have some things we need to do and well look at. 
I actually got this spoiled a little bit to me during a stream the other day because I came flying in this direction and I saw it. Although I haven't looked at this up close, so I have no idea what else to expect other than that giant white box that you see behind me over there. That's clearly a gigantic chakra box and I am so excited to see what this is all about. And look, my first suspicion is Joel because of what I did. Look at that thing! Yo, you know, at first I actually thought this was like one of those giant armor stand entities. I didn't expect it to be an actual solid build that I could face plant into. Look at all of that. The die right on the bottom. Like he's put some thought into what blocks to uh, to put on this. This has got to be Joel, right? There he's like, no doubt about it. This is a Joel thing. Okay, let's let's open it up and see what he's, uh, he's placed inside. There's no signs on the outside or anything, right? Okay, but this is concrete powder, which means he's made this float somehow. I'm kind of scared. Let's peek. Hello? Hello? Okay. Planks? Oh, hello. Well, there's Purple. This is clearly a Joel thing. Oh, what's in these? Just some lighting? Nothing secret? Nothing hidden? Nope. Okay. Nice. Nice stamp. I mean, usually you pay the post lady to send a package of this scale, but we'll take it. What has he got? How do you buy Purple? Oh my gosh. There is 18 pages of just how do you buy perfect. Joel! Oh my gosh. What do I even do to like one up him on that one? I think we've kind of created this bit of back and forth thing with the purple. Like, how do I get him back? He's truly uh, mind blown. Mind blown. I think I'm going to have to let that one simmer for a bit, but we're going to get him back today. Unless we kind of just accept our defeat. I don't know. All right, I my brain can't think of anything right now. I got nothing. I need to go do some building, okay? We need to be productive for once. We'll come back to this, but well played, Joel. Well played. I can't believe he's done this. How is this thing still standing at this point? Why are you still here? But you know what? I was actually serious. We are finally going to do some building. I don't think I've done very much building in the last few episodes and I am ready to get productive. And well, seeing as I'm in front of the flower shop, you might have an idea as to what that is. I have two permits left that I still have to make shops for. And just to remind you all, these were actually given to me by Ren in exchange for one of the other permits I have. I think it was granite, something like that. So I'm just, I need to get these things ticked off the list. So we're going to make the shops for them both today. Especially seeing as Impulse has now moved in next door with his grass shop, which is absolutely fantastic. This is definitely feeling like a bit of a plant or greenery kind of district. And what better or where better to put these permit shops than in the same area. For a little while, I was originally going to have them as like little separate shops in this area. But after a little bit of tinkering and thinking and playing with blocks, I have decided to attach them to the current greenhouse and make it one big shop. Seeing as a few other people seem to be just combining a few of their permits into the one, I guess it doesn't seem like it's a bad thing or that it's against the whole permit system, so I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens. I think there's plenty of room to put something out the front here, but I've also been wanting to transform the back of the shop because th this dock was originally used as one of like the permit challenges things that Green held. And you saw the clip with Impulse and I, we do want to change this into the portal thing, so I will keep that in mind. So I'm gonna leave the dock here. Yeah, but add a bit of a structure onto the back that makes it look like it's gonna flow into a dock type zone. I think we should absolutely lean into what's here and just transform it. Wait, I've just seen, I've just seen Scar's sand shop. That has been an emoji for like several months now and all the yellow is gone but the eyes still remain. I mean the green now looks like puke at this point coming from the guy's mouth but look at that he's kind of left the eyeballs on there. <laughs> Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Back to it. I reckon what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hop straight into the shop build. We're going to get this done. We're going to have a look through it all. And we're going to be happy that we get to tick another thing off the list. With that said, you better go grab that popcorn, put your feet up, and let's get into the time lapse. Roll it!
I'm done. Come have a look. I gotta say, my greenhouse is looking a little bit bigger now with a new addition off to the right hand side here. And what if I told you all that? It's not actually getting used. If we hop inside here, you can see that uh, it's basically empty. There's nothing really much going on here. I started doing some interior with the lily pads and the ferns and kind of decided that I didn't actually want a shop to be in here. So this now exists. I don't know what I'm actually gonna end up using it for, but it's here. Maybe someone else can move a shop into it. I don't know. Ignoring the fact that this is actually not going to be a shop right now, I think it adds a nice little cute addition to the space with a little bit of extra shape off to the side. I think this bit over here could be a nice garden to then make it flow off into Impulse's shop. Cause right now, I guess it kind of looks a little bit bulgy. You know, we had that nice flow through between the two greenhouses and now this is just it's just there. I have some regrets, but I think we can absolutely run with it. We can make some really nice trees. We can get some really nice path flows to just really bring these two buildings together. So even though there's bits here, I think we can absolutely make a nice flow through. The structure overall is pretty basic. It's pretty much just a box with a couple little overhead attachments, some garden pieces, and a nice stairway entrance off to the side. But you'll also notice that I have terraformed a little bit out the front. I've gotten into using a little bit of mud, some salt sand, some even some dripstone out the back there, some slubbages, leaves and moss and created a bit of a nice fluffy yet darkened and muddy type of zone. But of course with a couple little trees out the back just to add a bit more of a nice greenery element in there. I think over time this whole area could look really nice if we make a whole bunch of custom trees and just create a really cool landscape environment in general. That could be super fun. Anywho, so we've got that new bit out the front but we've also got a new bit out the back. We have pretty much a brand new dock house attachment on the greenhouse and I'm actually honestly quite happy with this thing overall. I do have to do a little bit of waxing for some of the trap doors so don't mind those but I reckon when we actually customize this dock we'll have a beautiful throat flow through from this path that leads right up into this segment and this is actually the building that sells the leaf lily pads and ferns. I have no idea why I keep building with dark prismarine because it is the most painful block in Minecraft. And Green, who has the permit, isn't even selling it right now, so I was in pain building with it. But it, it's worth it, right? It's a nice looking roof. I'll take it. I took some inspiration from some real life dock houses that usually are typically residing on some stilts. You'll also notice the ground is terraformed, just like the front a little bit here. But I have added some roots and pods all just to kind of make it a bit more dirty and grungy because it is closer to the water after all. Maybe there's some mud and muck that's being washed up. It's kind of the remnants of what you'd find at the bottom of a riverbed, but instead at a nice little shoreline here. Moving on up these lovely stairs that I have created, this is where the actual shop for the lily pads and the ferns resides. I've got the ferns off to the right hand side here where they'll buy it from these barrels, but uh, they're a little empty because of I have to get more stock. This is basically all I have right now, aside from these other four in my inventory. I am definitely lacking in the stock department for both ferns and lily pads, because that is also pretty much all I've got. So I'm going to have to work on a little bit of that. But I think right now, at least the interior here is cozy and you can't say I haven't used the permits. They're here. It exists. It's a place for people to go to. There is at least something in there for now until I get around to stocking it. And honestly, I think it's quite nice in here. What do you think? I've got some nice little display ferns on the moss shelving here. Some in pots, some actually planted. I think it creates a nice like elemental change in the decoration. And then for the ferns, I have this nice little water display. But something fun that you all should know is uh, if you waterlog certain blocks, you can actually put lily pads on top of those. Now, it doesn't work for all waterlogged blocks, I don't believe. But it does work with leaves. And I think that's a really creative way to actually showcase some ferns without just having them straight up plonked on top of the water like that. I think it's really cool. And you know what? If I turn around, something I'm excited to show you is it links up to my flower and dye shop. And I'm betting you're all uh, are understanding now why I decided to use that building out the back and not the one out the front. I think it just adds a really nice flow through. Have I used flow through multiple times in this clip? I have, haven't I? 
It's fine. It's the new replacement for cute. Hmm. Anywho, but I think it's a really nice way for hermits to be able to walk from one to the other without having to go outside and then into another building and wonder where things are. So there's some really bright glowing green signs. We've got ferns on the ground and lily pads that say, hey, go this way if you want your lily pads and ferns. One last thing that I do want to show you all is this beautiful array of rose bushes and berry bushes out the back. You guys know I've been wanting to do a landscape with the flowers for a little bit now to really show that it is the flower and dye shop and then I was like you know what let's just plant a nice little field of them and I think it's a really cool pop of color I don't know if I like the vibrant red for that area I might try a different combo in the future but uh I think that's a bit of a start right I could try something a little bit more natural flowing maybe following the curves of the land might look a little bit better but uh I think it's a pretty cool start oh and I can just show you an overview overall of what the additions look like to the greenhouse look at that it's changed up the layout so much much and made the whole structure just honestly a lot more dynamic to look at. I'm I'm really happy with the new additions. What do you all think? Sadly, with the new additions on my greenhouse, that is actually going to be the end of the episode for today. I know you're all waiting for my retaliation towards Joel, and I will say that I've actually come up with a way on how to do that, but that's going to have to be in the next episode because I've run out of time for this one. I still need all of your help with figuring out what to do for the whole scar mace situation, so do let me know in the comments below, but I reckon next episode episode is gonna be a lot of fun. So I hope you all enjoyed the episode today. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye everybody! Goodbye! Goodbye! Boop!